Hey, Trans Y Def. It is Wednesday, and I am your host, Madeline. All right, so this week's topic was um, about gay marriage and more specifically Obama's response to it. And I must say, I'm glad he finally came out of the closet and said, hey, you know what I support? Single sex marriages, because there's a whole bunch of people who are in single sex relationships and don't they deserve, you know, to get married? I've been racking my brain trying to figure out why anyone would be opposed to, um, you know, a single sex marriage, you know, be it, you know, two men or two women who want to get married. And I've realized that it's probably jealousy. Probably. Think about it. You're a man doing man things and you want to turn your entire house into a man cave. Well, your wife is going to have a fit if she finds out you did that. But two gay men would probably be like, hey, we're guys. We should just turn this entire house into a man cave. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think we should like throw AstroTurf in the living room and put up stadium seating with an 80-inch screen TV so we can watch football. You're like, yeah, and we can put a race car bed built for two in the bedroom. Holy mackerel, it'll be great. And you know, they'll go and do that because they're both guys and nobody's going to be opposed to it. I mean, men like to do manly things. And you think about it, when they're done fucking each other, because men do not make love. Men have sex. Men bang people. That's what they do. So when they're done banging each other, you know, they decide they're laying there for a second. They're like... <sighs> So it's like the middle of the afternoon. What do you want to do? Sports center's on. All right. Good thing we put in those stadium seats. Oh yeah. You know they they run off to the living room and they uh, go watch Sports Center, and they go scratch their balls because men love to scratch their balls. And you know the same goes for two women in, in a relationship. You'd be like, man, I think we should like Martha Stewart the shit out of this house. Be like, yeah, I call the dust ruffle. Yeah, I'll make a cat hammock. And you know, they just go down to, uh, you know, the craft store and they go, um, Martha Stewart up the house and there's arts and crafts all over the place. You know, there's good smelling soap in the bathroom, awesome window curtains, you know, everything like that. So, I don't know. I think maybe people who are a little, they're a little bit jealous that they're not attracted to someone of the same sex because they can't have A, a fulfilling relationship, and B, all the fun they'd like to have within that relationship. I don't know. That's just me. That's what I think it is. I mean, it can't be that they think that, you know, same-sex marriages would make, would desanctify, you know, the holiness of, you know, a marriage because legalization of divorce, hey, I can end the marriage whenever I want to. That, uh, that alone desanctified it. You've got Britney Spears and her 55 hour just for fun marriage. You've got, you know, you've got Kim Kardashian whose marriage didn't even last a hundred days. Like seriously, these, and you know, these are the people who are supposed to, you know, be representing us for, you know, what quality, like family, protect the family. Because we all know that children who are raised without a mother and a father are going to be very messed up indeed. In fact, while we're at it, why don't we ban, you know, single parents trying to raise their kids? I mean, really, it's someone who uh, has one father and no mother, I mean, wouldn't they be better off with two fathers? I mean, they'd have two people, they'd have twice, you know, the parental guidance. Um, that's just the way I look at it. I don't know. It's... Is it really that hard to grasp that uh, that everyone should have equality in who they would like to, you know, be legally married to? And it, you know, it really does come down to the legality of things. Like, you know, you've got like benefits and funeral and that power of attorney and and all that stuff. It's all very streamlined by the marriage process. So why can't we give that to people who are committed to each other in a single sex relationship? You know, um, like imagine, you know, the following marriage ceremony, you've got like a, 
big, the preacher guy being like, you know, ladies and gentlemen, we gather everyone here today to witness the, you know, the union of Fred and Eric. I don't know, two, two guys. And, you know, they go on the ceremony and then, you know, it gets to the time where they're like, now, if anyone sees why these two should not be wed, speak now or forever hold your peace. And one guy in the back, you know, raises his hand. Well, I've got a problem with it. These two are men. They can't get married. And the preacher looks at him. You know he's a man. You know he's a man. You two still love each other. Objection overruled. Who invited you anyway? You know, like, that's probably what I would like to see happen. Not the objection part, but the over, you know, the rebuttal to it. That would be a very cool preacher indeed. Um, so... That, uh, pretty much sums up my feelings on the matter. Um, I think it should be very, uh, I think, you know, everyone should have their rights respected. Um, oh yeah, and how does this relate to, uh, trans people? I mean, like Emma said, there's lots of loopholes that trans people could potentially get away with, you know? Um, one person changes their birth certificate and the other one doesn't if they're you know, two trans women or two trans men or, you know, a uh, trans woman who hasn't gotten her birth certificate and a cis woman or, a, you know, a trans man and a cis man, you know. Really, it's the sky's the limit in what you really want to do. Um, and there are ways to get around it, but, you know, the cis folk are not quite as lucky when they happen to, you know, enter into their relationship and would like to, you know, get married and all that fun stuff. So, I guess that's just kind of how it goes. I would love to see, you know, a federal mandate saying, um, you know, this has to be recognized. I mean, if you think about it, we recognize, you know, uh, heterosexual marriages, and I'm like, and I'm, you know, it's really got me thinking. Like, if I talk to someone and they, you know, they say, well, I don't recognize, you know, the legitimacy of your homosexual marriage. I'd just be like, fine, I don't recognize the legitimacy of your heterosexual marriage. And while you're at home, or while you're at work, I'm going to go to your house and have sex with your wife. And you know, it would have to happen because, you know, they're, they wouldn't be, I wouldn't recognize them as legally married if they didn't recognize me. And that's just kind of how it would go. Anyway, um, there's enough of, of that. This one's probably, you know, not quite PG-13, but I should have warned you that up front. Uh, hopefully you will have enjoyed this, and um, I will uh, see you guys next week with next week's topic. Bye!